Hey, what's up? I'm back with another video about the six liter power stroke. Today I'll be doing some head gasket uh, diagnostic work. I'm pretty sure mine, uh, my head gaskets are okay, but uh, on this recent uh, long tow that I was just on, it was about 1500 miles uh, through some mountains and it uh, kind of let out some coolant out of the uh, degas bottle a little bit on the downhill portion of these uh, mountainous roads and it seems to be holding some pressure overnight. So I just have um, a little uh, head gasket pressure tester gauge that I put together. I'm going to show you how to make it and uh, we'll plumb it in and uh, take a look and see if my head gaskets are okay or not. So here is everything that I've bought. Got a uh, pressure tester gauge. It goes from 0 to 30 psi. Um, as you can see it's kind of for whatever reason stuck on 3 or 4 psi. It does say to let out this little uh, brass plug to uh, equalize pressure, but I did that and um, hasn't moved. But it doesn't really matter the exact number, we're just looking for changes in pressure. So uh, one of these, I believe this is quarter NPT thread, so a quarter NPT to uh, 3 eighths barb. That will plug into this um, 10 feet length of silicon hose and that will go to this T. This is just a uh, 3 8 brass T or 5 16 uh, they're all pretty much the same um, as far as what we need. Uh, this piece will go to your degas bottle and this will hook into the hose um, that used to go into the degas bottle. And then an assortment of clamps to clamp everything together. So let me uh, put the clamps on and I'll be right back. All right, so here it is all completed and clamped up. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned it yet, but uh, this whole setup cost me about 35-ish dollars, 35, 40 dollars, just piecing together all these parts. Uh, but when I was looking for this, I actually found a listing on eBay for about 50 dollars for the whole thing already uh, put together for you. So that, that is one option if you uh, want to go that route, but if you want to save a few bucks, it's not too difficult to put it all together yourself. So here it is all plumbed up. Um, so I tapped it in at this point because I have a coolant filtration system so there's already a, a cut in the line that I could tap into but uh, if you don't have that you can tap into this right off the degas bottle that's no problem but you just want that T to be in line with this upper hose from the radiator to the overflow the degas bottle so in line with that and from there it comes out down here and uh, when you're when you're running it you're gonna want to have the the hood just latched to the first latch you don't want to you don't want to push it down you just want to have it latched uh, so you don't want to you don't want to go too fast with this just because you don't want that hood to fly up but out of here down here and then just have it looped around your mirror here and I'm actually gonna roll the window down and tuck it in the cab so I can watch it so at this point uh, let's get it on the road so what you want to see as it's warming up is a gradual increase in pressure uh, you do want to see pressure because that's how a cooling system works it increases the pressure to raise the boiling point but um, so my needle started at about three and a half or four um, so you can see it is creeping up a little bit, but uh, what this test is for a blown head gasket is when your your truck is kind of cool, not uh, not operating temperature, but not cold. Um, you want to go take it on the road and do a, a decently hard pull and see if the pressure in your cooling system changes. If it shoots up, you definitely have combustion gases leaking into this uh, into the cooling system. So that's bad. You don't want to see that. You want to see the uh, the pressure in your cooling system rise steadily as the coolant temperature increases, but not sharply. So let's uh, see what happens. All right. 
turning onto the the straight right now. So yeah, it's not reading any higher. There was no surge in in pressure in the cooling system. So that, that's a good sign. So there we go. Uh, the truck has just uh, about reached operating temperature. Just about. PSI is a little under 10. I'd say maybe six or seven, just because that needle was not at zero to begin with. Uh, my cap, my degas bottle cap is a stant cap that's about a year old. So I'm pretty sure this is a fairly normal pressure. Um, some of you might be thinking, hey, you should be closer to, you know, one bar of pressure. That's kind of what the cap is rated for. And uh, yeah, perhaps on a, on, a long, on a long grade, you might reach that. But uh, normally, I mean, you shouldn't really be at the limit of your parts. So, you know, like six or seven uh, around the block, uh, that's not too bad for the cooling system. Uh, like I showed you in the in that uh, little clip earlier, the needle stayed fairly steady. It did not shoot up as I got on the throttle. Um, I did get it up. I did spool the turbo up, so it was pumping full boost through the uh, through the engine, and uh, still nothing nothing in the uh, the cooling system. So I think my my head gaskets are okay for now. So as it turns out, my head gaskets are probably fine. Uh, you may be asking why I ran this test if uh, my head gaskets were likely fine. Uh, like I mentioned earlier in the video, I was having some coolant puke out of the bottle on uh, long grades and then there was a big downhill. So I think that kind of sloshed the coolant to the front of the bottle, which uh, allowed it to spill out the cap a little bit. Uh, I mean, it wasn't a lot, just a few drips. Uh, and I was having some residual pressure in the cooling system overnight. I guess that's normal, but uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe that's a, a small sign that the head gaskets are on their way out. But as of now, they seem fine to me. I'm not having any white smoke out the tailpipe. I'm not having any coolant disappearing. I'm not having any oil in the coolant or coolant in the oil. I'm not having any compression issues. The, uh, the motor cranks over very health healthily, if that's a word. Um, it's pretty healthy when it cranks over, so yeah, it's uh, it's looking good, good right now. So if you came to this video, you might be uh, trying to do some research on head gasket issues on 6.0s because you might suspect yours is uh, blown or on its way out. Uh, I'm just going to go over a few signs that your head gaskets might be blown. Um, there is a test to determine if it's your head gaskets or your EGR cooler. Uh, I'm not too knowledgeable on those just because I have an EGR uh, delete, so I don't really have to worry about that. But uh, the signs your head gaskets are going out, um, like I said earlier, coolant in the oil or oil in the coolant. So you can uh, you know, just check that with your oil dipstick or in your degas bottle if there's a lot of uh, gunky crud in there. That's not, uh, that's not really a good sign. If your coolant is disappearing out of your bottle like if your level keeps dropping 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 that is a, a definite sign if your uh, truck is smoking white out the tailpipe like kind of like a sweet coolanty smell out the tailpipe um, especially on colder colder mornings that could be a sign um, if your um, if your compression is dropping like if, if it's perhaps a little harder to start in the morning due to lower compression in the cylinders, that could be a sign. If your degas bottle is constantly puking coolant, that could be a sign. If there's a lot of white residual coolant on your degas bottle, that is a sign of over pressurization of your cooling system, or it could be a bad cap. So I would definitely suggest getting a, uh, a new cap, a stent degas cap, and uh, throwing it on and seeing if that changes anything. Um, also a uh, possible culprit if your degas bottle is puking coolant is uh, check your fan, your clutch fan in the front. 
and uh, perhaps even your radiator. If, if you're not getting enough cooling, if your fan's not moving enough air through those radiator fins, that could definitely be contributing to a, uh, a hotter than usual, higher pressure than usual situation. So uh, just because your degas bottle is puking coolant, that doesn't quite necessarily mean head gaskets, but that is a sign if the rest of your cooling system uh, is looking good. And uh, finally, of course, this uh, what this video was all about was that coolant um, cooling system pressure gauge. You tee that into your cooling system and just monitor how, how many PSI um, is in your cooling system and if there's any big surges up or down in your cooling system that corresponds to how heavy you are on the throttle. So this isn't a definitive list on every single symptom your truck may have with blown head gaskets, but it is a kind of a kind of a video to point you in the right direction. Uh, like I said, this this cooling system gauge that I built here was about $35 to $40 depending on where you source your parts. I got a lot of mine on eBay and Amazon for uh, pretty good prices, uh, as, as well as you can always buy the actual uh, pre-made kit from someone online or I'm sure a lot of uh, tool manufacturers actually make a purpose-built kit for this. So uh, yeah, hopefully hopefully this pointed you in the right direction. Hopefully your head gaskets are not blown. Mine are, um, my truck is actually on stock head bolts. Uh, I believe they're the stock head bolts for 210,000 miles. So maybe I, got, maybe I got a good engine that was built on a Wednesday, not a Monday or a Friday. But uh, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, uh, give it a like, sub to the channel, hit the notification bell. Uh, I will have more videos out soon. And thanks for watching.